Where is the Uba? How are you? How are you, lady? Doing well, thank you. First stop, Trader Joe's. We need milk and something, so we're gonna pick that up real quick. The granola, the granola. Can you get that? The grainless one? Yeah. So good. Goes to pick up just milk, comes out with two bags. Guys, we left the house to accomplish two things. <laughs> One, milk, which didn't happen because, I mean, it did, ha it did happen. We got way more than just milk. And then we wanted to go to TJ Maxx or Marsh TJ, TJ Maxx, aka one of my favorite places in the world, to pick up some fuzzy socks, long socks, everything. I gotta put my mask up. Oh my god, the situation. Long socks, like, so so we can wear them because socks, who doesn't want comfy socks? We're in the dangerous section. Skincare. I know. But guys, this is my dad's jacket, how cute. I don't know how old it is, but I think it's literally from when we were babies and I stole it and I realized his old, <laughs> it was just so gross. His old lip balm and hand cream is in here, and this lip balm literally expired, I think, in 2018 or 16. I don't know. Mission accomplished. I got <laughs> ankle socks, and then I got this huge 10-pack, I think. Gray socks, white socks, the long ones, and then some black ones. And I love wearing them when I do Pilates, and when I'm around the house with my PJs and my sweats. And then I needed a face oil. I know that this brand is well known for being clean and good and i wanted a face oil but a lot of them make me break out because my skin is so acne prone and this one says lightweight oil is gentle and balancing for problematic skin so we love and i've been really into doing gua sha recently and i need a face oil to do it i've been doing it every morning as part of my routine i love like look at that i love tj maxx i think these were also the same price seven dollars and then I just got randomly the salt because we need actual salt and it says it's coarse crystals, 100% natural product of Italy. And this was about $2.99. Trader Joe's, oat milk, some avocados. I wanted some English breakfast tea because there's there are days where I wake up and I don't really want a coffee. Like I know that my body doesn't want that much caffeine. So I'll have a tea. Picked up that. Frozen fruits for smoothie bowls. And then I saw this. I saw these gluten-free tortillas made with quinoa flour, and I'm really excited to try them. I usually do the brown rice ones, but I wonder what these will taste like. Just some spinach for our smoothies, two milks, celery, and then my favorite, favorite granola. Let me put you guys on. Guys, you need to buy this. This grainless granola is literally cracked. Gluten-free. Thank me later. You need duh. Are you a pretty girl? Hope they told it. Look who's back. Hey, you already know the vibes. We also need to call her out on the fact that she hasn't bought a camera or she hasn't started her YouTube channel. Or maybe the fact that I look like Lord Farquaad. <laughs> <laughs> so tell them what we did this morning. 9 a.m. I volunteered to go work out, y'all. 9 a.m. We went to the gym. It's different. And then we had our celery juice. Then I took a one hour shower. <laughs> and then I got on a call and then we made lunch. And now we're going to the Prudential Crew because we got some stuff to do. I'm going to turn in this big, big bag of Nespresso pods so they can recycle them. And Nimra's going to go to Sephora. Oh. Coffee one. Literally my favorite thing to do. Pick a flavor, any flavor. These two are for iced coffee. Those so are the cold brews. I think you want this one's good. Yeah. This pattern is so beautiful. We have secured the package. Which show you so guys cute. your Sephora haul and Sabrina wants to show you her Italy <laughs> haul. Tell them. I got focaccia and some pistachio cream chocolate. Amazing, Choc that's her Italy haul. We this is my foundation from Bare, Bare Minerals. Minerals, guys, clean stuff. 
Oh, 24 hour bear pro. Yeah, she good. Number one, it's to switch all her skincare to clean, which you guys are so much crap in our makeup. You have to look up. And then products. this is the strength and lengthen mascara. Oh, you got mascara? So did I. Yeah. Oh, she has a serum that helps with the growth of your eyelashes, guys. And then concealer from Bare Minerals. We love. And then Neha has this one too, blush. I saw Melissa Blanche Wood. Break open she posted this brand. So this is the Flush Blom. Flush Bomb. I'll show you guys the shade. And then I got the Kosas Concealer because I've heard a lot of good things about it. It's actually pretty thick and creamy, which I liked. I tried it on at the store. And then I got the Fenty Bronzer and Caramel QT. And then a mascara from Sayis. I don't know how to say this brand, but I've heard a lot of good things about this brand too. Said I wasn't going to go in there and buy anything, but I did. And then I have coffee. So, verdict. Makeup super good i really like the kosas concealer it does a great job covering and it doesn't look cakey it's pretty thick it's smooth very creamy but thick so we like and then the cream concealer i think what was it called merit this is what it looks like i really like this one too i think it's really soft um perfect for spring is what the person who helped me describe it to me as oh and she also gave me this really interesting tip she said um when you're putting your blush on, you want it to lift your face. And a lot of people just like slap it on. But there's this rule that you're supposed to follow where you put two fingers and then after you put the two fingers, then apply your blush upwards because then it lifts your face and it doesn't make your face look like it's, what's the word? What's the word? Sagging, melting, you, you guys know what I'm talking about. I tried the trick and I like I like it. It makes sense, I see, what, I see what she's saying there. We got the Fenty Bronzer. Caramel Cutie, I think that was the perfect match too. And then the Say um, Mascara, I really like super lengthening. And I guess the real test will be how easy it comes off because I hate, hate when my mascara doesn't fully come off and is lurking around for the next two to three days around my eyes. It's just not a cute look and I really, really don't like it. I'm just wearing this blue top from Brandy Melville. And then I have my jeans from fashion nova the ones that are excuse my shoes these are my house shoes i love them um, my fashion nova jeans they have the cut on the side i have a couple of my friends coming over just to hang out covid safe of course we've been tested we have been tested about i've been tested twice since i got back number has been tested three times tomorrow is the first day of my pilates certification if you follow me on instagram you know that i am getting my own guys know you know my love for pilates i think it is top three words that i say the most the 10 week program how exciting is that i did a huge 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 clean out of my dressing table i i guess not forget well i did forget but also i just didn't want to spend money on buying new makeup but a ton of the products that i had i've had for years and years like i'm not even joking the bronzer that i had been using up until i bought one today was my bronzer oh i just realized my mirror is so dirty i've been using the same bronzer that i've had i think since sophomore or junior year of college and i graduated in 2019 so that's gross i just didn't want to pay for another one when i had one but then i realized how horrible it is to put expired makeup products on your face just because you don't want to buy new ones. So this is your reminder to check your makeup products and honestly, just go buy the new makeup product if you've had the same one for a while because putting expired chemicals on your face is just not it. I went through a bunch of things. I had a ton of these like when I, well, I used to have the Ipsy subscription. I stopped it, but I had a ton of those that I was just didn't want to throw away because it hurt my heart, but I wasn't using them, so they were just lurking, and today it was time, so I did it. I have a few drawers, so this is like my eyebrow eye drawer. This is the mascara I bought today. This is my other mascara. This is this mascara makes your lashes look really good, but it's a pain in the butt in terms of coming off. It just, this is, this is the lurker right here. So look at my nails. I need to get my nails done. This will stick around your eyes for a couple of days. My liquid eyeliner and then my Anastasia dip brow pomade. I get it in medium brown. Back up <laughs> in case the other one finishes. No, I'm just kidding. I forgot that I actually had one before I bought that one. And then these are the concealers. This was the Kosas one I was talking about. And this one I got in the shade 6.2. 
So I really, really like this one so far, and it makes it just it looks fantastic. And then I had been using the NARS one, of course, before this. Who doesn't? This is like a classic. This is the classic concealer, honestly. I love this concealer. Um, but I wanted a cleaner version, so I picked up Kosas today. This is Macadamia, and then this is just like my I don't know, I have it fit me extra. I don't really I mean I occasionally use it. It's a pretty thin one, so if I just want like a quick on the go thing, I'll use this one and that's insane. Highlighter, I got it in an Ipsy package. I've actually never heard of this brand, Rodeo Drive. Gold highlighter, the Fenty bronzer that I got today, really nice. Caramel Cutie, looks like this. We love Fenty. Rihanna's my mom, in case you guys didn't know. Facts. And then just eyeshadows that I have. These are some Anastasia individuals. I'm really proud of myself because I, this is, oh, well, okay, well, here's my drawers. And then I have like my setting powder in here. And then my Huda eyeshadow palette. And then two more. Like that's the only eyeshadow stuff in my brushes that I don't always use, but I have there. These need to be washed. Reminder to wash your makeup brushes. And then this is the blush that I was talking about. I really, really, really like this product. And I got mine in the shade Cheeky and She Cheeky. Love this. I showed you guys this in my vlog. It's just aromatherapy. I roll this on the palms of my hands and the wrist, inside wrist area. When I meditate, my sunscreen, love. The two free samples I got from Silvana. This is my clean foundation, a lawless. Woke up like this. I like it, but I don't know. I don't know. I noticed that after a few hours after I wear it, it starts to look all crackly, if that's the right word, on my skin. But when I mix it with this foundation that I've been using since freshman year of college, the Becca Ultimate Coverage in Tan, this has been the foundation I've been using for years. Um, when I mix these two, it's good, but this isn't the cleanest. But she's so good. So I have yet to find a foundation that I love. This is okay. But I don't like it on, on its own. I like it mixed. Otherwise, it makes my skin look weird. After a few hours, I look in the mirror and I'm like terrified. Because I'm like, holy shit, what's happening to my foundation? It's just like blemish spot gel. It's super clean brand. It's an Australian brand. Um, eyeliner, brow stuff. You guys know my under eye. She's so messy. Thing. I have like two lipsticks because the rest of them were expired. So they had to go. This one is Anastasia, I love this shade. Rogue, looks like, oh my God. This one, holy shit, I think I threw away the wrong lipstick. Ah, oh, I threw away the lipstick that I wasn't meant to throw away, fantastic. Fantastic, fantastic. And then my three serums, you guys know, that's literally all the stuff I use. And I'm proud of myself, that is really, that's crazy because this is the only makeup that I use and I literally got rid of so much. Bagels, bagels, everybody loves bagels. You're going to jail. Hi guys, this is Nara Uh We're going to have a beautiful day. Sun's out. Gotta get some hot pot. Let's go yeah, to the party. Do it for the vlog. The vlog. Do it for the. Do it for the. Do it for the vlog. Who's that gorgeous girl? Must be a for me. Outfit for the day. You gotta wear the sweats to Shabu Zen. You gotta make space for the food, baby. That's the trick. First round is seaweed salad. I love a seaweed salad. You guys. I'm so red now. <laughs> Look at my beautiful sea guys. Everybody, okay, I have to just, we're introducing you to my friend Seema. Hi, no. everyone. More like and you've never had hot pot? No, I'm so excited. It's her I'm first so time, excited. and it's my second time. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at everyone's food. Look at that. Look at the flavor of flavor. No worries, it's delicious. Look at that meat. Honestly, it smells so good. You're gonna eat here. It's so pretty. Next stop. Oh, I will. Because we need cookies. <laughs> Is this a good one? Snickerdoodle as well. And vegan gluten free? Do the cookie dance. 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 Ooh. 
Okay, wait, wait. Can we go for a walk? Can we go on a digestion walk? You know what? Oh, digestion into? walk? Well, yeah. Into the building. This That's is a enough. term. This is my you dropped your cookie oh. on the ground. <laughs> I caught it on camera. <laughs> Yeah. Hi guys. You guys, you guys are so, gonna be playing a game we're, where we're gonna be playing the game. What the hell okay. where, yeah. This is this is called song association, okay? Nim Nim over here, say hi Nim Nim. Nim Nim says a word and we sing a song. This word is Dior. Dior, Dior. Dior. You should have grabbed the teddy bear. Well, she, oh, she, oh, she, oh, I have to grab them. You have, you have, you have to grab the song. The word is hand. Slow hands. Your uh, <laughs> next word is stop. <laughs> stop. Bottle. Tonight we're drinking yes. from the bottle. No. If that, no. 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 <laughs> Relax. Take it Sunday. We had a nice cute little girls night session where we literally just put on music and dance and it was just so cute. I have a pretty busy day. Got a paper due at midnight. I have Nourish Talk. If you guys follow my Instagram, I host a weekly talk for people to come join if they just want to share their stories. The healing process doesn't have to be so lonely. When I released my journal prompt, the most common thing that was said to me was, oh my gosh, like this is so great. Thank you for doing this. I didn't know that I wasn't the only one feeling depressed or anxious or alone or going through these things. I feel like we don't really talk about them on social media. Just trying to bring people together and introduce people to each other and just build a space where you can talk about things and let them off your chest and kind of another way of mental hygiene besides journaling is just talking through things, processing them, getting it out of you and out there with people who want, who want to listen, who want to share their own stories too so you don't feel like you're the only one. The most complicated choices. Got the springtime, springtime colored nails. Mm -hmm. We're going to go get COVID tested and trying to enjoy the day the sun it's beautiful in boston today guys fun fact i've had this jacket since seventh grade acsers will know if you went to acs wait for that wall when we went to turkey i bought this from stradivarius and i still have it it still fits hi guys i'm currently editing the vlog that you guys are watching and i realized i didn't do like an outro for it and I just wanted to hop on quickly and say thank you for watching. Thank you for all the support. Oh my gosh, that scared me. Um, I am sorry I haven't been posting as frequently. It definitely is one of my goals. I just have, I just need a moment to catch up with myself, but I have recorded like a ton of content over the past few weeks that I'm gonna slowly release. So stay tuned for that. It's some fun stuff. But I'm really trying. I just haven't really had the time to edit, but now I do and I'm sitting down and we're getting it done and I, I'm, I'm, I'm back. We're back. We're going to make videos a thing again. Anyway, rambling. Thank you guys for the support, and I'll see you guys in the next one.